Hi and welcome to Cook at Home. Chile's national holiday is coming up and everyone wants to impress their guests. So today I have a recipe for you that your whole family will love. You have to follow this recipe to the letter. Try not to change a lot because honestly the recipe is very good. So this is a recipe for traditional Chilean pebre which is different from chancho en piedra because you don't grind it in a stone. Let's go with the ingredients first and then with the recipe. So the ingredients we're going to need are two green chili peppers, they could also be red, five tomatoes, one onion, cilantro, about 200 grams of cilantro and the juice of two lemons. We begin by dicing our onion. You can cut it like I'm doing to simplify the process for you. You want a small dice like you see here. Once we're done dicing our onion, we can put it in the bowl where we're going to make the pebre and move on to the next ingredients. Now it's time for our tomatoes. There are two ways you can slice the tomatoes. You can do it like I'm showing on screen or you can remove the seeds, the center of the tomato, and this prevents the pebre from becoming too watery over time. But you could also do it the simpler way, like I'm doing, if you want to finish the recipe quicker. So, we cut the five tomatoes into small dice and we add it to the bowl where we're going to make our pebre. It's chili time! These are green chilies and we're going to slice them very thinly so we can then cut them into very small dice which will give our pebre that delicious spicy touch. We want very small dice because if the pieces of chili are too big, a person who doesn't like spice could bite into them and it's going to hurt. So after dicing our chilies, we move on to the next ingredient. Now it's turn for the cilantro. First you have to wash it in order to eliminate any dirt that it may have. I don't recommend blanching it in hot water because you'll lose the aroma and damage the leaves. The idea is to use fresh cilantro and chop it very thinly to add it into our beverage. Remember this recipe is a must for Chile's national holiday. That is why I'm showing it to you right now, so you have an amazing pebre recipe from Cook at Home. Now some garlic. Here I'm using three cloves of garlic. I am going to crush it using a knife and slice it thinly. Or to save time you could grind it using a mortar and pestle and then add it to your pebre. You could use more garlic, you could use less, it all depends on what you like. In this case this is a recipe for 10 people. It is a very convenient recipe and Above all, it's very easy to make. Don't forget that after adding the garlic, we need to season our pebre. So, after adding the garlic, we add a teaspoon of salt. It can be fine table salt or coarse salt. In this case, I added a teaspoon of coarse salt. If you have table salt, you would only add half. Then we add the lemon juice another teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of sugar in order to prevent any heartburn that may be caused by the onion or the garlic that's why we add the sugar we also add 15 teaspoons of hot sauce to get that last bit of spiciness to our recipe and then we start mixing this delicious pebre to enjoy this traditional recipe for our national holiday this is a recipe that you cannot miss and I invite you to make it at home.
and that's how we make bevere. It's very easy and very quick to make. You could save some time by putting the vegetables in a food processor, but it's not going to be the same result, you will get some sort of paste. Remember that if you don't want your pebre to gather a lot of liquid after a couple of hours, you can remove the seeds of the tomatoes, the inside part, and only use the flesh with the skin. That prevents the pebre from becoming too watery and it will be nice and dry. But if you don't care, you can do it like I did on the video, using the same amount of ingredients. If you need a larger amount, for more people, you could double the amount of ingredients. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media, on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, where I'm constantly posting about what's going on with the channel. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on that little notification bell down there so that YouTube lets you know whenever I upload a new video. I hope you like this recipe, see you soon with another recipe, another idea that you can cook at home. Until next time!